They can't wear a bathing suit without exposing the fact that they're being treated yes. for cancer. Yes. So by putting it in the arm, mm -hmm. there's no uh, trace of it, it, you know, in the chest. Wow. Even the removal of the ports leaves a scar. And there have been papers that say psychologically it really is, affects the woman even if she's cured because she still sees the mark of that port. Yes. So they come to us. Again, ports are always done in the operating room or in radiology. Right. They come to us. I make a single incision. I numb all the skin so they don't feel pain. We put the port in their arm at the bedside as an outpatient. St. Joseph's it was so excited about this. They created a, a minor procedure room for me in the OR wow. so that any patient from anywhere can come to St. Joe's and get that arm port placed and avoid wow. having that on their chest. Yes. Well, let me just tell you one other thing. Last week was our first pediatric case. Oh it was a 14-year-old girl with a type of cancer. And um, they were actually, they were going over it with a doll, showing her where the port would be in her chest right when I walked in. And I said, hold on, I can put this in your arm. You're so young, you yes, know, can you imagine having your, you know, your chest you know, scarred? Very sensitive and, uh, age group. Yes. Yeah. And she was, wow. you know, if you could be excited about anything, you know, uh, because of course cancer is devastating. She was at least happy cosmetically to be able to get her treatment without all her friends seeing this, without her having to hide all the time. So to me, it just, it really touches my heart to help these patients yeah. and we're doing it sooner.